obsessed, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sierra and on my channel, I like to talk everything fashion. You guys, I really wanted to do a let's talk fashion video where I tell you guys a little bit about a person. You guys know that video. I know that's what you guys were anticipating this video to be, but no. Your girl is lazy, okay? Your girl was just in bed till like three o'clock today. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. And I finally mustered up some energy to like take a shower and I just wasn't feeling it, so I ain't gonna lie, I just haven't been feeling it. So I have just been doing some really, you know, self-care stuff. I did my nails. We still gonna keep it about fashion. I know people been doing shopping, people been doing hauls, but I can't do that, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't do that until I know, you know, that I'm gonna have a steady, steady income again. Your girl ain't doing no shopping. So these are my wants and desires for after quarantine, basically. And you best believe, you best believe, there are a lot of them. <laughs> so the first pair of shoes I've seen on Essence, you guys, that I really, really liked are these beautiful light blue thong sandals here. I have just been in a thong sandal type of a mood lately. I don't know why. Whether it's heeled, whether it's flat, I'm just like obsessed. And this color, first off, captivated me because I can just see it with a light wash pair of jeans and just like a cute little white tank top. And the heel isn't too high on these, you guys. So I feel like you can definitely get away with actually wearing them for more than two hours and just be really cute. I love the square toe. I was so surprised by the price of these, you guys. Like $265 is such a good price for a leather shoe. I definitely want to get these, especially because I've been looking at the Toe Tim ones, you guys, and they are like three to four hundred dollars more than these. So I feel like for the look, a square toe, a thong sandal situation, this one will suffice. Next, you guys, you know I can't do nothing without mentioning MM6, Margilla, Margilla, Margilla. This shoe here, I absolutely love it. When I first seen it, I was like, what's going on here? Like, what, what are we doing? Not only do I think that's just like such an innovative way to create a shoe, but it looks really comfortable, no? Like that little cushion. I just feel like you would just want to just like pop up and down in these. Like it's kind of like a trampoline. Pretty sure that was probably their inspiration, actually. <laughs> no, I'm Margiela's team. It is the perfect girly for me because they're black. They're kind of like odd in the silhouette because I mean you don't really see a inverted heel a lot of the times. And 525, I would say, is not a terrible price, seeing that these are so practical and are so wearable. I feel like MM6 is definitely worth the investment, seeing that I have a couple MM6 pieces, and for the most part, they have not failed me yet, especially if you take care of it. I'm not really wanting to take care of my things, y'all, to be quite honest. That's one of the main reasons why I feel like I got into buying high end because I'm just like, oh damn, so I can like jump and like bump into shit and scrape my foot on the ground and these shoes will still be good. Okay, quality is where it's at. Actually, these MM6 shoes actually come in white as well. So if you're a white girl, not a literal white girl, but if you're a girl that likes white. Next, you guys get into a little Izzy Miyake. I have been wanting a peach from Izzy Miyake for the longest, you guys. I don't know why I haven't purchased. I just feel like it's always at the bottom of my wish list. It's always Margiela at the top. It's always Rick Owens at the top. But for some reason, other designers is just always at the bottom. And you know, after spending a couple hundred dollars on Margiela, you kind of don't want to look at anything else. And these shoes, I feel like, may be my first purchase obsessed okay it has the original pleat strap here which is you know true to Izzy Miyake that's what they're known for and also they look so freaking comfortable you guys as you can see the cushion actually extends a little bit almost like a half inch off of the sole just a really classic shoe I mean you don't even have to think about it you can just put them on with jeans and a t-shirt and go out the door that's what I'm about Oh my God, I didn't even see that little peak of purple. <laughs> so cute. Next, you guys, is the sandals by The Row Girl. So I feel like, you guys, the reason why I really haven't purchased these yet is because they're healed. And if I'm honest with myself, I don't really wear heels that often. I always go for a sneaker or just a flat sandal in the summertime. So simple, so classy with the silhouette and just how structured and just minimal it is. And also the heel isn't too, too high. Next, you guys. 
I'm not gonna lie to you. This is the one that I want, I think, out of all of them at this point. Only because they're flat and they're leather and the sole is rubber, so they're also comfortable to walk in. And I just know that it would just be my go-to for the summer. Like, literally, I can wear it with dresses, I can wear it with jeans, I can wear it with shorts, I can wear it with boxy shorts, I can wear it with palazzo, <laughs> what do you call them? Flouncy pants, like I can wear them with anything and it will look chic. They also come in white, you guys, but preferably I would do the black because I don't want to worry about the maintenance with like a white shoe. Especially looking at the leather, the thick leather strap, it will just age so gracefully. And the roll, I mean, they're just known for their quality at the end of the day. They're not too crazy when it comes to designs and prints, but they just make really timeless classic pieces. And that's the reason why I just, I just really want these shoes. Like they are me, they are me. Actually the model is wearing full the row in case you didn't know. Next you guys are these Margiela sandals here. My first seeing of these was actually at Dover Street Market. I feel like a lot of people may stray away from doing heels, but if you do like a chunky heel like this one, sis, you're good. And if I'm honest, I really don't love that it says margella around like the little heel part i don't like that embossed labeling if it was actually martin margella you know creating steel he would have probably approved of putting margella all on the heel like no let's just keep it sleek i feel like the tabby toe itself says margella enough so we don't really need that on a heel so if i could change one thing about that shoe i would change that so probably at the bottom of my list four shoes I need to get, but it's on the list nonetheless. I don't know, I just feel like after a while that may irk me or it may not. All right guys, so that actually sums up all of my wants for my summer after quarantine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big, big, huge thumbs up and I'll give you a hug. Oh, Thank you and I will see you in my next video. Peace.